Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Don't mind my background. There's going to be a lot of changes, good changes, and I'm going to make a whole like chit chat video about why my apartment is slowly going to be empty. But anyways, I kind of gave it away. But anyways, I have no information on that at the moment, but when I do, my second family, as in you guys, will be first to know. Today's video is going to be a very different video from things that I normally film. So I'm going to be sharing with you my experience on laser hair removal. The first thing I want to do is show you the vlog that I took of going to get my Brazilian, it's pretty close to a Brazilian, it's not a full Brazilian, there's like a spot that I'm like, do not put a laser near that, I'm sure we can all guess what that is, <laughs> but besides that, I'm, you know, lasering off the, the gene, the J area, <laughs> I've also done my stomach, which came out great, my armpits, um, my upper lip, which didn't come out great, but I'm going to explain why. Hi everyone, so I just got to the laser hair removal place and I'm kind of nervous because it's like, for anyone that gets waxes done, that's what I used to do before this, it's like, even though you get used to it and you know what to expect, like I know what to expect when I go in there, but I'm still not comfortable with the feeling, obviously. I don't think, I don't think anybody enjoys getting like lasered. I'm gonna take you guys in there. They said that I can film so that was really cool of that. Okay, so I guess we'll start there. Okay, one, two, three. Ah! Those sides sometimes get me. Ah, the middle really hurts. that your first question probably is how bad does it hurt you know a scale of 1 to 10 you know how bad is it it's pretty bad it was explained to me that it feels like someone takes a rubber band and is like you know doing that to you onto your skin and honestly that is the best kind of example of what it feels like it's worse than waxing if you get waxed then you are gearing yourself up towards the pain level but yeah it's Maybe I'm a baby, but yeah, it, it hurts. But the results are permanent. So to me, you know, 10, 15 minutes of that, plus she'll take little breaks with you, or, you know, I'm sure most people will. They're like, whoa, it really hurts. I need a break. I need a minute. I'm sure they'll do that. Probably the most asked question when I talk about laser hair removal, besides like, does it hurt? The second question I always get asked is, how much does it cost? The place that I go to, Dr. Loomis's office, I do pay $150 a time for my bikini and you need anywhere from like six months to a year for it to work. So some people, that also is going to vary. Maybe you get laser hair removal and it only takes you two times and then bam, you have no more hair. That could happen. Or you could be like me with my underarms. My underarms came out perfect. I'm always getting questions. It's kind of funny because laser hair removal is like one of those things that shouldn't be noticeable. It's like, why would anyone notice that you don't have hair somewhere? They would just think like you shaved or waxed. But my armpits came out so good that people will come up to me when I like lift my arm and they're like, do you like not have hair there? Like, I just don't get it because the great thing about laser hair removal is once you get it, the pores like shrink or something like that and your skin feels so soft. Like the way it feels like when you get wax, how it like feels soft, it's even softer than that. And like, there's no like pores. You can't see hair underneath because they killed all the hair. So. That was always an issue with me for shaving or even waxing is like I'd shave my underarm and then you could see hair underneath it still. Even though it would feel smooth, you could still see the hair and it'd be like a shadow. You don't see that with laser hair removal. It's amazing. But my armpits did take a year for that to work. It was cheaper than the 150 but I don't remember exactly how much it was a time. And then my stomach, it was like three months and it worked like that. So. It all depends. Like, I had, like, the happy trail. I still have, like, hair on my stomach. Like, I still have blonde hair. The laser won't read blonde hair or the place that I go to. They can't do it. If you have, like, that white blonde hair, the laser only sees, like, jet black to, like, brown hair. So if you do have, like, blonde fuzz like I do on my upper lip, it won't see that. And that's why it didn't really work on my upper lip. So we just stopped because it would be a waste of money if I was, like trying to do it and it didn't work. Another thing I want to talk about is how to pick a place. It seems like everybody is doing laser hair removal now. I was getting my hair done recently and 
woman was like, oh, we offer laser hair removal now. No offense to that place, but that wouldn't be my, you know, first choice for laser hair removal. If a price seems too cheap, too good to be true, it probably is. I know people who have been burned by a laser before or have spent a ton of money and it didn't work. Definitely choose a reputable place. The place I go to is a plastic surgeon's office, which just makes me feel better. It's not Dr. Loomis, the plastic surgeon, actually doing the, you know, lasering. It's this woman, Lisa, that does it, but you know, it's still in that facility. Like they still like, they know how to handle anything that comes at them and I just feel better about that. And Dr. Loomis was kind enough to say that if any of my subscribers go and they use my name, that they will get a discount. So, and he said for everything, it doesn't just have to be laser hair removal, but anything that they do there, you can get a discount. So yeah, I just thought that I would share that and I will share all his information down below, but only if like you're in the New York area and you want to do that, but they had a whole consultation with me. You know, they examined my skin, they asked how I burn in the sun, they asked if I burn in the sun, you know, they asked like my ethnicity, what my parents are, if skin cancer runs in the family, like all these different things because then the laser caters to me and my skin type and my hair color. If it's one laser fits all, something bad could happen like a burn or maybe it won't work because maybe it's not, the laser isn't high enough. I know each time I go she puts the laser a little higher. It really doesn't change how bad it hurts. I think it all hurts whether I'm on level one or whether I'm on level seven. It all feels the same, if that makes me feel better. Once I have the money and the you know savings and whatever, I'm going to do my legs next because they just, the bottom half, the thighs shave nice, but the bottom half does not shave nice at all. And now that I see like how smooth my bikini line is, like girls, we know, like that is not an area that gets super smooth and it's annoying in bathing suits and all that stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my experience. If there's anything that I didn't answer, leave that down below in a comment and I will get back to you. And if I don't know the answer, I'll ask Dr. Loomis's office and we'll work it out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little laser hair removal story and I'll see you guys soon.